John Ossoff expected to snub Pelosi by pushing ban on Congress stock trades. This was like a top post on Reddit. I just talked about us possibly copying Nancy Pelosi and other members of Congress and looking at their trades since everything is public and us trying to hopefully outperform the market by copying them because as researchers will tell you, members of Congress get abnormally high returns from their stocks. It looks like the most traded issuers by Microsoft, Alphabet, Nancy Pelosi's buying call options over here with for Roblox, Google, and others. But Georgia Senator John Ossoff is looking to introduce a bill that would ban members of Congress from trading individual stocks, but that's not all. It's also their spouses, a practice that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has defended as her husband rakes in millions of dollars trading shares of tech companies. A lot of people, I'm looking at the comments here, and a lot of people seem to like it. For the most part, I understand why they're doing it, but it's like, oh man, there goes our edge if this does go into full effect. I'll go a little bit more into details here, and then I wanna talk about some possible uh, momentum traits to look out for coming next week. But no Senate Republicans appear to have publicly come out against congressional stock trades. So Ossoff may have trouble finding a co-sponsor in the Senate. So who knows how likely this is to happen. But there was another proposal to curb Congress trades, the Ban Conflicted Trading Act. That was introduced, but there was still that loophole where Nancy Pelosi's husband could trade. So Paul Pelosi, who's a beast, his stock picking would remain legal. However, Ossoff forthcoming bill would be stricter by closing the spouse loophole. Now, this is why I'm saying he's a beast. Check this out. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and venture capitalist husband Paul Pelosi beat the stock market by 5% in 2019 and by 14% in 2020. And this is from fine print data. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but based on the stocks purchased and disclosed from 2019 through Q4 2021, her portfolio grew 96% over that time, gaining $62 million in value. And that's not including the $2.8 million made from options trading. So if you're curious, most bets are in big tech and financial service companies. So it's like AT&T, Facebook, Salesforce. This is one I've been seeing a lot. This is like the number one analyst rated pick, let's say, with the most upside. Doesn't mean anything. These guys can always be wrong. And this is probably some controversy that Ossoff is considering. So in 2008, Pelosi bought 220,000 worth of Visa IPO just as Congress was examining a piece of legislation that affected credit card holders. The stock went up $20 a share within a couple of days. When 60 Minutes reporters questioned Pelosi on her husband's purchase of Visa, she denied allegations of acting on a favorable investment. The incident caused enough controversy to prompt a special addition to the Stock Act called the Pelosi Provision, which prohibited Congress members executive officers and politicians staff from investing in IPOs. But I can see this guy being a fan favorite, let's say, because he was holding no punches when he was debating Senator Perdue. Check out what he was saying as far as insider trading. Well, perhaps Senator Perdue would have been able to respond properly to the COVID-19 pandemic if you hadn't been fending off multiple federal investigations for insider trading. It's not just that you're a crook, Senator. It's that you're attacking the health of the people that you represent. Definitely not trying to take the political route with this channel. I just felt like it was interesting how he's kind of cracking down on these insider trades from members of Congress. With Astra kind of veering off topic here, Astra next week will probably be announcing their next launch date, either next week or next next week, in my opinion. So just want to give you guys something to look forward to. I think there could be a possibility where you could momentum trade this i just talked about it yesterday in my video uh fun ways to momentum trade i forgot the title but if you click right here and turn on the notifications for astra if they make some bullish announcement let's say as far as the next launch goes because i believe this is going to be their first real payload i emailed investor relations and as soon as they get back to me i'll let you guys know but i asked them is this a test mission is this, from, is this for the Tropics mission? I'm trying to see, are they getting money for this? Because as you guys know, uh, right now the market is not favoring these stocks that aren't making money. So regardless if they're successful or not, we could see some momentum just going into the launch and also with them possibly acknowledging these short reports, uh, the short report that came out that sent the stock down at 30%. Regardless, I just talked about it yesterday. Turn on the notifications and get the Twitter app and you can get these messages like text messages and just look at the stock, see if it starts moving up. I believe it will. And I believe that either next week or next next week, they're going to 
make an announcement. I know that the launch is supposed to be in January. So the launch window, that's why I'm saying it's going to be announced very soon here. And the launch is scheduled for this month too, according to uh, this source right here, Astra. This is space.com. Astra will launch a NASA mission from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in January. So it's already January 9th. The other place where my mind's at going into next week is the metaverse. And I know the market right now, it's all about value. So I really wanted to talk to you guys about Copen because they trademarked the word pancake optics. And one of my friends was telling me about how Apple is coming out with this pancake related thing. And he was like, oh, they trademarked the word pancake. Copen did K-O-P-N. And I was talking about that stock uh, last month or a couple of weeks ago about how the insider purchased some shares and I was like, oh man, I think we're, cl we're connecting the dots here. But uh, I think pancake is a pretty universal term uh, in regards to lenses for certain things. Uh, but, you know, maybe look into that if that does manifest into something. But there's some really interesting things coming out, like an attendee demonstrates the OWU vest, which allows users to feel physical sensations during virtual reality experiences, including wind, gunfire, or punching. Ready Player One, just like that movie at the CES show, Consumer Electronics Show. And look at this next picture. This is pretty funny. An attendee tries out the Shift All Megan X virtual reality headphones and microphone for metaverse experiences during the CES show in Las Vegas. This picture right here reminds me of those funny inventions in the early 1900s that people probably thought were going to be the next big thing <laughs> like this right here. At first, I thought these were some type of binoculars, but no, they're geophones. They pick up seismic activity, apparently. And then this woman right here reading while lying down. I'm assu assuming these are mirrors on her eyes. Yeah, this woman. I think this is before microwaves. See how good we have it, guys? But as much as I love the potential of the metaverse, as much as I love Astra right now, which I'm still holding, right now it's all about the cyclical, undervalued by definition type of stocks. And I was talking about how Bank of America is like Wall Street's number one favorite stock right now. Another stock that might do really well is Ford. And I just feel like I can't play the market the same way I did in 2020 and 2021. Still going to talk about some risky stocks, the possibility of what it would take for gold to rally. Potentially in 2022, a lot of people are talking about uranium, copper, gold, silver. And I know that's an ex extreme change of pace from what I usually talk about on this channel. But at the end of the day, I just want to hopefully help you guys find some under the radar stocks and we can make money. But yeah, guys, keep an eye out for those Astro announcements next week. But thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content and research. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Peace.